Inside these blocks, 350 convicted terrorists are demanding political rather than criminal status. They back this demand by what's called the dirty protest. The men are not wearing clothes. They call them the blanket men, or they wear blankets. The IRA is trying to force the British government to grant the prisoners five demands using the weapon of last resort, the hunger strike. There is no such thing as political murder, political bombing or political violence. There is only criminal murder, criminal bombing and criminal violence. Attitudes have hardened on both sides after the deaths of ten hunger strikers. The decision to end the hunger strike was taken by them last night after visits from Republican leaders who told them there was no point in going on. Stay over there guarding their shorter buddy. Since when do we let them wear civvies? New rule. Which idiot decided that? Don't know. Don't care. See you, Gordon. Blanket men are all mad to say. You don't look so scary. Does he? Like a moose. Buried any of your IRA mates, Stately? What's that rumble I feel? Oh, I'm starving. <laughs> you made the right choice. What are you? I don't see any of you fucking going on hunger strike. Yeah. Fucking hard, man. Back your fucking cells.
time do visits start? What time do visits start, sir? O'Shea! Marley! Delahunte! Feeney! didn't. You look terrible. Mm. I think this is bad. You should have seen me before. I wanted to. All this time. I know. Well, the protest was important. How are the boys? Grand. Growing up fast without you. If things were different, Kate, you know what I'd choose. Sorry about your friends and the hunger strike. Must have been bad in here. Sometimes. Sometimes I feel like a cheat. Being alive when they're not. You know what I mean? Since the hunger strike ended, everybody thinks we're finished. A bigger problem is that we do too. I mean, take a look at the mail. We need to prove, not just to the world, but ourselves too, that we still got a pulse. It's on your mind. You don't mean an escape, sure. From here, you're joking, right? We don't even know where we are. I've been in here four years. I couldn't tell you what's on the other side of that wall. Well, it's time we found out, eh? Is it worth the risk? They catch you making plans, there'll be a few more years on your time. Why don't you ask the ten hunger strikers if it's worth it? I owe it to them to at least try. You can do what you want for now. But believe me. You're wasting your time. Too many new faces around here, lads. You should have stayed in the blanket, you finger blast. Hey! Just better watch your backs, all of you. That red county boy. Take a look around. There's more of us than you now. Where the fuck's he going? You're going for an afternoon stroll, all right? Yep. Big date. Your sister. Gordon about. Wait here. What is it? Want to volunteer for work? Or lead duty? You. The last of the blanket men. Couldn't stick been treated like a criminal. Now all of a sudden you want to skivvy? Eh? My wife always said I was a dab hand with a map. 
No way. Forget it. Get many volunteers from our side, do you? I bet someone higher up would say it different, wouldn't I? Maybe I should ask them. Bring him in here. I don't know about this. I really don't think it's a good idea. What's the worst can happen? Place might get a bit cleaner. All right, let him in. I'm giving you one chance, Marty. Any funny business, you're back in there. Drop a tea, Gordon. Fuck off. That's what he is, betraying the hunger strikers. You did not know me. Hey! Are you just gonna let him sell us out like that? You're his OC, do something. If he wants to keep himself busy, I'm not gonna stop him. But he's working for them. Our friends died so we went up to do shit like that. We are political prisoners. How can you just sit there? And I'm your OC too, John. I'm asking you to store it, okay? I agree with him. All right. Okay, we'll, we'll go it Saturday. Just the three of us. Trolling spinner, isn't it? Used to do a bit myself. Prisoner Marley returning to the wing. Are you sure that's the one you want? Not the blue one? No, it's perfect, I'm sad. Just checking. So where do you want to eat? We're going to a restaurant too. Well, of course, it's called going out. I wouldn't know.
Are you hurt? Message from your son. Come on. Get in. Gordon not in today? Get in the fucking van. You fainting scum. Listen, my son's talking about joining the family business. You want me to get someone to talk to him? No. He's mule-headed like me. If we tell him he can't, they'll just find some other way. I need to be out there digging with us. You do realize if you escape, you won't be able to go home. Ever. They'll haunt you in every bush and ditch in the country. Larry, this is Bobby. Bobby, Larry. So, what you got? Right. Well, what do you need? Detail. Lots of it. Eyes and ears. Anyone moving around, getting an X-ray, peeling spuds, whatever. They need to remember what to see. We'll get out. What else? I need to find what they missed. There has to be a flaw. Why? Well, because you want one. Meet my rain cloud. Follows me round all day. You know they used to burn unbelievers at the stake, Oscar? I'd love you to prove me wrong, fellas. Our block is over here. And there's another one right behind. How'd you know that? I hear them out there in their yard. See? He's using his head. Now, some smart bastard put sweat and overtime into keeping us in here. We have to put a hell of a lot more to get them out. There was a head on your water last night. He's alive. Who the hell called that? It was a night's day up. His wife and kids were there. Well, that's just great. How am I supposed to get him to trust me if we're trying to blow his brains out? You're wasting your time on that one. What do you need him for anyway? <laughs> I'm finishing up now, Gordon. I told you that's what happened, didn't I? I told you to quit. We can't let the bastards intimidate us. That's exactly what they want. Intimidate? Jesus, Gordon, we're lucky to be alive. Don't even think of it going back there. Do you hear me? I am. I have to. No, you don't. Your brother was the hero, not you. Look what happened to him.
Got the gloves. Be quick. And Marley. Uh, where's my camera? Finally seen the light, Brendan. Which one of you fuckers sent my name out? Come on, who was it? Anyone man enough to admit it? No? I didn't think so. To chicken shit a lot of you. Well, that's the sort of mouth for you, Gordon. Just say the word. I don't want anything from you. Prisoner Marley returning to the wing. What happened in the outside won't happen again. Why did you say that? Do you know something? You were in on it. No, no. You asked if it was one of us, and here it wasn't. Who hey, then? Give me names. I don't know who, but it's finished. Warders won't be a target anymore now the protest join. <clears throat> so why did they go after me? Or maybe I pissed off the wrong people. For it's true, you and your family are safe. You can take my word for it. <laughs> your word? What's that worth? Well, you're back here anyway, Gordon. Anyone with any sense would have quit. Because I don't scare so easy. Or maybe you're a prisoner like the rest of us. I'm not like you. I get to go home every night. Yeah, that's right, so you do. Look, I... Well, what's happening in there? You all right, son? Lover's tough. I'm beginning to have nightmares about you, Marley. Hello? Saving electricity? Anyone home? She'd be safe with me here too. You both would. That thing that happened, it was just a once-off. Why can you say that, Gordon? You don't know. I do. 
One of them told me. One of the prisoners told you? Is this a joke? Because it isn't funny. You, give me a hand. What did you hope to achieve by bumping me off anyway? Stupid bastards. My brother, I could understand. He was one tough mutt. At least he died for something. Doing his duty. Not like those ten friends of yours. Suicide by starvation. Spare me. For what? Hmm? So they wouldn't have to do prison work. You're doing it, aren't you? Big deal. We're dying for, was it? Eh? Was it? No, you're right. They were fizz. Exactly. Big fucking TV show. They should have been like you. Smart. We're doing this. I don't know how yet, but it's happening. Jesus, where'd you get this? Would you believe the TV news? Shit, look at it. They really want to keep us in here. That's me and Brandon there in H7. And that's you and Oscar, top left, in H2. We should be flattered, fellas. They made all this specially for us. You know, maybe we're wasting our time looking for the weakest point. What if there isn't any? Look, here's a block. They're all the same. Us prisoners in each of the four wings. But in the middle, pulling the strings, is the warders in the circle. That door is the strongest point. And this is good because? Because whoever controls the circle controls the whole block. You mean take it? Hi. No, it wouldn't be easy. But the warders are starting to ease up a wee bit. If we can build on that, make them feel secure, then maybe that's the flaw. Then what, have a block party invitation only? Well, who knows what then? But it's a start, isn't it? Or we just sit here with our heads up our arses and do nothing. No, it's good. Genius, Bobby. You're forgetting one tiny detail. If we try and take the warders on the wings, the loyalists will join them against us. And then the party's over. He's right. Damn it. Janet, love. Is your mother there? Yeah, she's there. Can you put her on? She's... She doesn't want to, Dad. Okay, um... Don't worry, I'll, I'll catch her again. How's London? Have your auntie shown you the sights? They've been having a school. 
Are you going to school over there? Wow, that'll be an adventure. I don't know anyone. You'll make friends in no time, you'll say. I miss you, Dad. I miss you, too. Your murdering scum friends were busy last night. Make you proud, does it? Those people weren't the target. The police station. Oh, that squares it then, does it? It's their own fault for walking past. I didn't say that. No one wants to see civilians killed. It was an accident. No, you plant the bomb on the street, then nothing's an accident. You know, I've met all sorts in my time. Pickpockets, muggers, rapists. And there's a difference between them and you lot. Do you know what it is? Most of them regret what they did. You keep that. You stick it on your wall. Frank told me I should come today. Oh, yeah. Right. You're expecting somebody else? No. Um, no, I, I thought you might be my son. That's all. Uh, I was your um, husband's cellmate when he went on the strike. And then when he got weaker and they were moving him up to the hospital, he asked if I'd give you a message. Yeah. What was that? Keep up the struggle, love. Don't give in. I'm starving myself to death for Ireland. He asked me to tell you that long before you two met, he saw you. You were working at a, a fair behind a stall. He said you didn't notice him and he was too chicken to go and talk to you. So he just watched you for a while. He said you were joking and smiling. And that he fell in love with you there and then. From that one look. That's it. That's all he wanted me to tell you. He can still make me cry even from the grave. He always was a romantic agent. I'm sorry. He was a good friend of mine. If you were really his friend, you should have stopped him. He won't be forgotten. I'm gonna do something for him. For all ten of them. You can't bring him back, though, can you? You can never do that.
Stand aside, Tiggs. It's the 12th of July, and today we march where we please in our own country. Not here, you don't, kid. From here on, it's a Republican area. That makes it a bastard free zone. Did we move to Dublin when I was kept, fellas? <laughs> no, I didn't think so. All roads here are British, every last one. I think you already know that, don't you? We need to use this. What's the matter, Kenny? Police aren't here to hold your hand. Whoa, that's disgusting. Negotiate a fair solution. Nah, no, there's nothing more to talk about, is there? The future's already settled. have civilian clothes and, and now we're handing them their own private wings on a plate? Have we done some deal that I don't know about? We've just relaxed a few policies for a calmer atmosphere, that's all. 18 prison officers were murdered enforcing those policies. I was almost one of them. I'm sorry about what happened to you, Gordon. But we all want an easier life. The prisoners too. When the hunger strikes were on, coming in here was like walking through the gates of hell. Now, when I go home, I can have an actual conversation with my wife. Take some time off, Gordon. Huh? It's a bunch of animals. Should be feeding us peanuts. the can and his marching band everything's changed he can do this now not so fast i'm stalling everything until our friends on the outside get up to speed on this what the, hold on a minute that's way too early this is only one piece of a big jigsaw sorry can't do it Larry. we've gotten this far by ourselves but we're not alone so you're to down tools and wait until they have their say that's an order you read it up
just leave it there. O'Shea! Kelly! Made it first instead of asking. You want it? Go on. You pride yourself for that stunt the other day. Some things are worth fighting for. You cop yourself on, Larry. Well, you like prison, do you? Not a hell of a lot. But you get used to it after 10 years. Your family? The girl looks smart. She is. Bright as a button. Wife's a bit of a looker too, Gordon. How'd you manage that? We're not together right now. Moved over to London. I'm sorry to hear that. Look, you might not understand this, but I spent half my life trying to protect them from you bastards. And after all that, she ups and leaves. Well, I'd be at home with my family if it wasn't for you bastards. That's your own fault you're in here, Larry. No one else's. I don't see it that way. I know you probably wouldn't agree. No, you're right. I don't. No. Piss off back to work. This isn't a daycare center. You wait there a minute. You wasn't ready, didn't I? No, you had to go and send that damn thing out. You don't get to make these decisions, Laurie. They didn't buy into it and they don't want to botch to escape hurting morale on the outside. Fuck the morale. What about ours? We're on the floor in here. Look, we don't have to stop. We're trying to take a whole block. It's too risky. We need to set our sights lower. I have a couple of guys who want you to meet later. That's your new strategy. Think small. It has to be big. That's the whole bloody point. It's finished, okay? Move on. No, I need to do this. I have to. You need to do this. We're in this together. Don't forget that. All right, come on.
want you to meet those two guys later. Their plan's less complicated. You talk to them, I'm done. I'm not asking, Laura. Garden. Say they want to grow stuff. Governor gave the okay. Same old car. Right. <laughs> hey, hello, then. That's the food lorry. Cheers for doing this. No problem. Sorry to hear about your trouble. all day long. Meals on wheels. Do they search it? I could do it one. Just start. Right, just left that book. Sardines. 38. Jesus. That big enough for you? No, actually, but it'll do. Brendan and Bobby, we're going to take your black H7. Then we're all going to get in the food lorry and drive out the gate. Out for a minute. Guard the fort. Your life. 
trusting me with it? What are you going to swipe? Needs to be injury free. No blood spilled. Otherwise, I'll write about that and that what we did. And to do that, some of us are going to need to be carrying. How many will we need? Six will do. Look, if we have them, there's less chance of anyone getting hurt. Can they find a way to get them in? Seen your wife lately, and you love her. What did you say? You heard. Forgotten which side you're on, Gordon. Well, I'm on your side, arsehole. Fuck you, Gordon. Is there something I should know about? Huh? Fuck's sake. I don't want to see anything like that again. Do you fucking hear me? Just like her. You know, there's one thing I don't get about you. What's that? How the hell do you keep your marriage together from in here? Maybe because we don't have to live together. We've known each other since we were kids, kind of joined at the hip. Well, a man should look after a woman like that. Don't you worry. Once I get out that gate, I'm not coming back. Ryan, 
How's it going, son? All right. All right? Choices you made. What have you had them to do over? I do the same. I have no regrets about what I did. So why is it right for you and not for me? Someday, men like us will be a thing of the past. The future's yours, Danny. If you don't mess it up. What about your studies? How's all that? You could follow your big brother and go on to college, couldn't you? You don't think college is a cop out? It's not about that. Danny, we're talking about your life. Look, when I'm out, things are going to be different, you'll see. And you'll be there to see me graduate. I'll make a deal with you, all right? You do it. And I'll be sitting in the front row with a big grin on my face. That's a promise. I would mainly ask you something. If the hunger strike hadn't ended, you've gone on it. I'd know. I guess, probably. So you would have been willing to leave us all behind. But it did end, Danny. to talk about my transfer. That's it. We're looking at a week today. If you give us a nod. Sorry, lads, we can't. You're joking. Why? Ropes and ladders. It was never going to work here. I've second-guessed all of that. It spat you as soon as you stuck your head over a wall. If you thought that all along, why didn't you say so before? Something else, then. He's due, don't you? We're done here. <laughs> oh, come on. You can't do that to Mick. We're all in the same team, lads. And no means no, by the way. So no solo runs, OK? change at four o'clock. Too many orders coming on now, which means the food lorry has to leave the black by 3.40 at the latest. So what, they just open up the main gate for you and blow you a kiss goodbye? No, there'll be a system. Something special. And we're not going anywhere until we find out what it is. Any news on your transfer? That's all in hand. Enjoy the 
we can, Gordon? No, oh, I intend to. Must be a mild scramble to get out of here on Friday. Stampede, more like. I swear the pubs close at eight. I suppose the main gate would be the worst, right? No. Well, we haven't a sign out of that, man. Every time is a pain. They open the gate, but uh, ah, then it doesn't take long. If you pass on the way in and just hand it back on the way out. Hmm? Something high tech about that. <laughs> You'd laugh if I told you. Secret passes. Makes it sound like a kid's treehouse, doesn't it? Anyway, have a good one. Bye. Right. See you, Larry. I need the bumper. Like you saw a ghost. Why are you here? I saw you were after the weekend. 
I was. George had an emergency. Lucky me, he was on standby. Right. Stick the cat long, will you? Yeah, sure. Get your fucking hands up now! Uniform's off. You heard me off! John, can you hear me, John? You're gonna be okay, John. You're gonna be okay. John. Oh, lunch today, Gordon? The club should have been here already. Speak of the devil, and then it shall appear. So you've forgotten us. Here, I'll give you a hug. Don't panic, it'll all be fed. Jesus, Larry. Did you have to? No, it's okay. I'll fix it. We'll get the rest first, okay? Yep. Who's Larry? No, it was late getting her. Ah, no, it's just gone. Should be seen in a second. Age eight. Everybody's hungry today.
Stop. Even breathe. That's not some of my business, but maybe one weekend you might try going over to London. Talk things over with your wife. You ever thought about that? Sure. But she doesn't want to talk to me. Like a brick wall. Mm. Once things need seeing, you gotta be looking eye to eye. Believe me, I'm an expert in long distance disasters. <laughs> Can you see your daughter too? When was the last time you saw her? You turned into a marriage counselor now, Larry. Me? No. But they're the most important thing, aren't they? Our kids. Doesn't matter about us. We're just caretakers for their future. You're not doing much of a job then, are we? No, we're not. False alarm. Baby's not due for another three weeks. Thanks a lot for covering, but I want to save the days. Yes, well done, baby. Getting a weekend after all. You leaving? I was intending to, yes. Have you got a problem with that? I don't know. So, have you any plans? Football, TV, beer. Oh, yeah, who's playing? The usual, Larry. Look, if you don't mind, I'd really like to get out of here. Yeah, sure, no bother. Safe home. Thank you. 
command me OC on this ring, Larry. So is there something you want to tell me? each other. What do I do? Jerry! Get him, Mike. Give him over, lads. Run for and I can go home to my family. They didn't need me anyway. The plan was tight, best I've ever seen. Could have just found out they're gone. What? Let go! Fuck you! Do a head count and untie them. Thirty-eight missing, sir. Sir, what is it? I think Larry Marley had something to do with this. 
Marley? Is Neen H2? What are you talking about? The organizers of this escape are out there somewhere on the run. I don't have time for this. What are you doing here? Why aren't you with them? Had he given anything to me? Almost. I was on the run once, do you know that? Managed to break out of a courthouse cell, saw my family three times that year. Like you said, they deserve better. Oh, you're one clever bastard. I suppose you think you've won something today. Hmm? Scored a few points for your side. Well, nothing's changed, you know. You, me, all those guys out there legging it across the fields. We're all still stuck in the same place, going nowhere. He was a good man. The warder your friends killed. Oh, you didn't know? So that's what happens when you unleash the monster. People get hurt. Why me? Hmm? Out of all the warders, you picked me, didn't you? Ten of my friends died in this prison on hunger strike. They thought they'd broken us, but now the world knows they haven't. The debt's been repaid to those men. I don't expect you to understand that, Gordon. Prisoner Marley. In future, you will address me only as warder or sir. Is that clear? You know, I used to think my job was important, that I was doing some vital role for society. I warned them that they were making too many concessions, but nobody cared. The warders didn't make the policies in this prison. We just did our duty to the best of our abilities, most of us. But you were deceived by the prisoners. You let your guard down. You can twist that any way you like. It was supposed to be the most secure prison in Europe. It wasn't supposed to have a flaw. Which flaw are you referring to? The circle. All the power in one place. But it was the prison staff who let them into the circle. Lifers, men with murder convictions. They seemed worn out. But it was a trick. You all allowed yourselves to be tricked. We did. I did. You can have my resignation, too. That won't be necessary. I don't need your permission. I'm granting myself parole. 